Hey everyone, it's Orkin. Today we are going to solve maximum difference between node and the ancestor problem. So what's the node and ancestor mean? So let's for example take this node 1 and the ancestor for these nodes are 3 which is parent and also 8 which is a grandparent. So the same way for this one for 7, 6 is a parent. 3 is a grandparent and 8 is a grand grandparent. So we need to find the maximum difference between any node and its ancestor. So how we are going to do that? The way we are going to solve this problem, we are going to use the diff search approach and we are going to traverse each branch of our tree and we are at, at each stage we are going to maintain minimum and the maximum and the difference between them results. So for example, let's take this example. Minimum in this case is equals to what? Minimum is equals to 8 because we are just starting and the maximum also equals to 8. And our result, uh, our result um, is equals to 8 or to 0, right? Our, uh, our uh, result is equals to 0. So now let's go to the, let's explore, let's DFS our tree. We are going to the next branch. So can we update minimum? Yes, we can because the 3 is less than 8 so we are updating that we are updating our minimum to 3 right and our maximum 8 is equals to 8 we are not updating that so the difference between uh, now between ancestor and the node is equals to 5 so it equals to 5 so we are think here 5 so now let's go to the next branch so we are DFS first searching so let's go to the left branch and uh, so uh, now we have the value is 1. Can we update our minimum? Yes, because uh, 1 is less than 3, so we are updating to 1 and the maximum stay the same. So because uh, 1 is less than one is less than 8, so we are updating our minimum and the maximum. So the difference between them is 8 minus 1 is equals to 7. So we are updating that. The same way, now we only explore this branch. So then we are going to explore this branch. Then we are going to explore this branch and so on and so forth. So at each, we are updating our minimum and the maximum. And uh, um, besides minimum and maximum, at each stage, we are also taking the difference and updating our result. And uh, whichever result is the maximum, we are returning that one. So in our case, for example, in this case, we explore whole tree and uh, happens to be that the difference between this node, this node, and this node, and its ancestor uh, is the maximum one. Uh, first thing that we are going to do, let's create an integer, let's call it result, that we are going to return. So it's a minimum value for the integer, let's say. Let's set. Okay, so let's make it private. And um, so this is our result that uh, we are going to return. Now let's check the base case. Base case is that uh, we are checking if the root is uh, not equal to null, right? If the root is not equal to null, then in that case, we are going to DFS our DFS our tree. So for that, let's pass the value of the root and the root. So root value, uh, root value and uh, the same. So we are going to pass here the root value. Okay. Um, now let's create our DFS method and we are returning our result here, returning our result. Okay, so now let's create our DFS method. So it's private, it doesn't return anything and uh, it's a DFS. So it's gonna take a tree node, our node, and it's gonna take int uh, minimum and it's gonna take int maximum. So at every stage we are passing our minimum and the maximum, right? So uh, now we are checking. Now we are checking that the if uh, if uh, minimum and the maximum, the difference of the max minus min, if it is more than our result, right? 
So in that case, what's that going to be? We are updating our result and setting that to a max minus mean value. Okay. And uh, that's our base case. That's not our base case. That's the, that's the check that we are doing at every level, right? So now we are going to DFS. So we are checking if our node left, if our node left is not equal to null, so we can explore the left branch. So for that, what we do, we are DFSing. So we are passing our node left, right? And also we are taking the minimum between between the this value of the node, right? As we are checking, so between minimum and the node value. And the node uh, left value. So that is our minimum. So yeah, math min here. And also the same thing that we do for the same thing that we do for the maximum. So we are taking the maximum of we are taking the maximum of max of max our max value at the moment and the left node value, right? So we are exploring the left branch now the same way we can do with the right branch. So um, we are taking the right and uh, right, right and uh, right. And uh, that's it. So let's run it. Should be not equal to null. And the maximum, uh, minimum, yeah. Okay, great. It works as expected. Now let's calculate the uh, time and space complexity. Time complexity of this solution is o of n because we are visiting every node. And as for the space complexity, it's determined by the, by the height of the recursion stack. So the, in the worst case scenario, it's also log, log of, uh, of n, but uh, on average, it's gonna be O of log of n. Log of n on average, and the worst case, it's gonna be O of n. Okay, that's it. Hope you like my content. If you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.